Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Here, here. With Jim Beans. We're Tired. heading off. But yeah, you are? Kind of. We woke up early today. Earlier yeah. than normal. We're doing good. I don't like I don't like to wake up too late. That that's one of those things that I feel sort of consistently puts me in a bad way. Ugh, look at the vulture. <gasps> what did he get? He's eating something. A squirrel. Like a rat? <gasps> Steve! No, that's probably like a possum. It looked like. It's the circle of life. A vulture killing. Yep, munching on dead stuff. Gross. But anyway. Yeah, we're uh we're up on the earlier side, which is good. I like to get up earlier. It is kind of difficult sometimes because I go to bed so late. But it's all good. Heading off to the gym. And I'm, I think I'm in the same boat with Jenny here. I'm feeling kind of loopy today. But It'll be fine. Yeah, it's all good. Just getting tired get, right now. Getting some of my C4 N0 core creatine mix in. 20% off. Sellycore.com. Promo code BAJ. Jenny's covering her face in shame. <laughs> worth it. Yeah. It's good stuff. I wouldn't trade it. Man, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'm excited because if, if what they're telling me was correct, uh, it should all be set up to get the promo code working for EU soon as well. Yay. And I say EU, but I also mean obviously like like Australia, Canada is not part of the EU, but I mean like just worldwide, I should say international, so international B A J promo code action. So that'll be cool. You guys can get your your pre workouts or your protein or whatever you're interested in for 20% off. But anyway, it, it definitely depends per country too what stuff will be available to you. That's true. Yeah, people ask me like, "Yo, I go to the website and it's not all available." I think it's because like certain countries have certain restrictions on like what they can actually sell. So it's not like it's not like Cellucor doesn't want to give you all their stuff. They do. It's just that your country doesn't want you to have gates or something like that. No. <laughs> I can't blame them. There's for just that. restrictions on certain right. ingredients and that kind of stuff, and it varies per country, so. Yeah, there's nothing That's There's cool. nothing like weird or illegal in, in any of the supplements. It's just like. In you America, know, but maybe in. It's like self, yeah. somewhere else. They don't They don't like it. Yeah. Or they have to go through the right kind of um, methods to be able to sell that product in that country. Yeah. So. Understandable. And what ifs? We still love our Cellucor. Cellucor definitely is loving all the, the support that you guys are sending their way too so good on you team making us making us look good but um, i'm heading off to the gym with gym beans i'm going to do some legs today it, it's sunday and i i wrote on facebook i'm doing my sunday fun day workout and on twitter and then i was like you know what we're doing legs wow i, I didn't really feel like just messing around no but, fun day well yesterday we kind of had to mess around well, we just did a shorter workout. It was only like an hour and 40 minutes. I did my, I mean, I, I sat on my plane, I did shoulders. Yeah, you did. I, I had a first world girl problem. <laughs> I had a tweet about it. I was like trying to run and I only had one hair tie that isn't very like, it's the worst. really strong. And uh, kept trying to pull my hair up in a ponytail and run. And my hair was so smooth that my ponytail would fall out as I was running. And then like, you can't run with your hair down. It's just too hard no for way. a girl. Like it's too sweaty, it's too gross, <laughs> and your hair is flying everywhere. You look like the girl from the ring, except for just running. There's <laughs> hair all on your face. So I had to do like just a bunch of weights. Anyway. Just had to get swole. Yeah. Yeah, I did my shoulders. Hey, some people keep asking me what I do for my, uh, my uh, sort of, my, my, my workout rotation. And a lot of people are like, hey, I'm just getting started. What can I do? So I guess some, some really good advice I would just like, I mean, of course I'm gonna tell you this advice, but when I post my workout videos, I'm not doing it just to be like, yo, watch me work out. Like I'm trying to share with you what I do. So if you're interested or if any of those exercises look fun to you, you can try them out as well. So if you're just looking for like a starting workout routine, like when people write me messages or ask me in comments like, hey, can you give me a workout routine? Um, what I'm doing and what I enjoy doing is I do legs. Listening? You listening? I do legs. So look at my leg workouts for what I do for legs. You can do whatever looks like it. fun out of my leg workout for your workout. Do legs. Push, aka chest. Same thing. Find that video. Same thing. Look at what looks like fun to you and try it. Then I do pull, which is like my back day with deadlifts. And then I do arms and shoulders. So if you want to have your workout program, that's what I would recommend. You know, you can do those back to back every day, or you can do, you know, legs, take a day off, chest, take a day off, back, take a day off, if you really need that much recovery. I personally like to go to the gym every day. 
Um, or you can mix and match if you want to do like legs and then chest and back together or something like that because you have only have a couple days of the week that you can work out. You can combine those in any sort of combination that you want. But my recommendation would be to do legs, chest, back, arms, and shoulders. That's what I like to do. And if you want to see what exactly you should be doing on those particular days, just check out my you know legs workout, my back workout, my chest workout, my arms and shoulders workout, and incorporate whatever exercises look like fun to you. That's just a very short tangent I wanted to go off on. I like it though. Yeah, because you know. One of the things that I do is I like to put the information out there. I don't always shove it down your throats, you know, but I like to put the information out there and you can take from it what you will because keep in mind, like I'm not like a personal trainer or a dietitian. So what ha what has worked for me is what I'm going to share with you, but that not but that might not be, you know, the absolute perfect ideal thing for you to do. So I encourage you to explore. Yeah, tr perhaps try the things I'm talking about, try the things other people are talking about and find uh, a mix or a combination of, of like training and diet that works well for you. So put the information out there, take, take, a, take it for what you will, but definitely at least to get out there and get after it because that's one of the things that's gonna help you out a whole lot. So yeah. or like, like I said, I've taken my own advice here and I made sure I got up a little bit earlier today so we were getting out of the house earlier, which means that should be able to stream earlier today too. I know, we haven't the past couple nights. Yeah. It's yeah. okay though, we've been super tired. You guys, it's so stressful with moving. <laughs> we've, like, been, we've been working hard, we've been, yeah. we've been knocking stuff out though. So A lot of time so has been consumed with this move, but it will be perfect once it's all done. We got a, we got a really, really beautiful, serene place to live, so it seems. And I think that we're gonna be able to do a lot of cool stuff there. And it's very, very, very exciting. And, uh, but like I said, we'll probably be able to stream tonight. Um, today is also my refeed day. So that means that normally- I get so happy for these days. <laughs> normally, um, you gotta eat pretty lean. Uh, you know, just eat, a, wake up in the morning and have some eggs. I put some, I've been putting cheese on them recently because it gives me more energy in the beginning of the day and makes it digest in a way that I like. I like it a little bit better than ranch right now. Um, and then I'll have, the rest of the day is pretty much just like I have like a protein drink after my workout and my pre-workout before my workout, of course. And then I will have just basically like salad with, with some meat in it for the rest of my like four meals of the day. And I'm fine with that. I mean, I, I feel, I feel light and strong with that, you know, out of the gym, but in the gym, of course, you, you know, if you don't, if you don't time your meals right or don't eat quite enough that you can definitely find yourself feeling weak, but one of the things is I'm not like, I'm, I don't usually feel bad though. Like, you know, people associate dieting with like being really hungry all the time and suffering. And that really hasn't been my experience, at least with my diet. I mean, I don't, I don't feel just like as raw, powerfully strong because there's just not as much, you know, there's just not as many calories in my system and that's okay. Cause I can still go in the gym and work hard and have good workouts and feel good about my workout. And that's, that's the important thing. And of course, I also continue to see progress. Uh, I weighed myself the other day, and I was like 196, 197. Holy cow, that's crazy. Yeah. Good job, though. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, what I'm doing is working for me. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing, you know, I'm not losing 20 pounds a week. Not, not, it's not all happening really, really fast, but slowly but surely, I am tightening up. I don't feel like I'm losing a whole lot of muscle, um, but I am seeing, you know, I am seeing my muscles increase in definition, but it happens all over the place. It's not just like just in my stomach. Like, okay, I want to, I want to lose fat. How do I lose fat in my stomach, Bajira? You know, that's not, that's not really the question. So yeah, your body right just eats up fat. Some, anyway. Yeah, sometimes sometimes my legs look more defined. Sometimes my I see the, the the definition increase in my back and like you know weird places like in my back. Like my lat will be a little bit more defined, like right here or like in, in the actual you know I can see it from behind or Jesus. wherever. Yeah. Your trapezoids, as I say. So when you're when you're losing body fat or when you're trying to gain muscle, understand that the gains oftentimes will come, you know, fairly slowly, and not always in the places that you would imagine. But if you continue to work hard, continue to do what you're what you're, what you're supposed to do, then you'll see results. And that's a good feeling for me. So, but as uh, we kind of got off on the thing. Today is the refeed, so we're gonna go get some some burritos. You guys, I think a lot of people talk about Chipotle. What are the Qdoba? Yeah, it's talk about Chipotle. I don't think we have Chipotle. There's one, but it's it's like 
pretty far. You'd have yeah. to take the freeway to get to it. And we're just like, why when Qdoba's right there? Man, so. I, ate, I ate Qdoba literally every day when I was in college. In every it. day. Yeah. And so I, I've got a good relationship with Qdoba and, and they, mm -hmm. they make burritos that make me feel real nice. So I'm, one? I'm gonna get three of them bitches. Three, holy cow. The one place I've told him about that it reminds me of, for any of you, you West Coast people, maybe it's more like mountain, mountain people, like mountain, mountain people. standard <laughs> time. Mountain standard time people, you guys know barbacoa. That place is my jam. And so this place actually kind of reminds me of it. So that's Barbara good. what? Barbacoa. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, we're gonna go get some burritos and then Jenny's probably gonna, you're gonna get one of them quesadillas? I, I might get a quesadilla. She lets me finish her quesadillas. Sometimes, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. I'm thinking about trying out maybe a taco. Like the actual taco and not, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not messing around this time around. <laughs> Uh, on this Sweet. diet, I only get I get one refeed a day. <laughs> I get one refeed a one week. One a day. I get one refeed a week. Yeah, cheat me, cheat day every day. One refeed a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get one refeed a week. And um, one of the things I learned from dieting uh, last time is that I wasn't hitting my refeeds hard enough because like I wasn't actually giving myself a chance to like reset my metabolism and all like the hormones that are associated with uh, you know your fat loss and whatnot. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna go pretty ham here. I'm get me some burritos. If our lovely lady Jenny will cook me some rice, of course. I'll also have that a little bit later on in the night. So we'll be streaming it up, having some having some delicious rice. Hopefully, I don't fall into a carbohydrate coma in the middle of the stream. I'll have to pick up the piece. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to do some legs today. I don't think I, I don't usually do cardio on leg day because I'm usually pretty beat. But we're gonna knock out this leg workout. Then we're going to go get some burritos, and we will see y'all on the stream. All right, dudes, we're at the gym now. I will uh, probably talk to you guys on the stream, okay? Thank you so much for watching, dudes. Even if it's just like a little random chit-chatty vlog like this, it's always a lot of fun to talk to you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. So thanks for watching, dudes, and peace. Peace.